Hi, in this video I want to try to find out which firmware is actually the best firmware for a wireless router. Because not only can I use the stock and factory firmware, but I also can or better say might be able to install a third party firmware such as Asus WRT Merlin, DDWRT Tomato, OpenWRT and even more. But these are actually the main ones. First of all, I really believe if something is not broken, then I shouldn't touch it. Um, and by that I mean if I'm already happy with the stock and factory firmware and it pretty much does what I need, then why should I even change it? Besides, installing a third party firmware can be risky. I mean, it could void the manufacturer's warranty and if something goes wrong, I might end up permanently damaging and breaking my wireless router. So one good reason that because of that I'm actually going to consider installing a third party firmware is when I'm dealing with a firmware related problem on my wireless router. For example this is my Asus AC68U wireless router and I've been using it for almost 6 years now. For more than 5 years I only used the stock and factory firmware which is called Asus WRT and it pretty much did all I needed and pretty much without any problem. But after 5, 5 and a half years I finally had a problem. You might remember that a while ago I actually made a video about the uh, 2.4 gigahertz network on this router which was not working anymore and I talked about a possible solution by using an old wireless router. But after some time I decided that I should install a third party firmware and see if that can actually fix the problem and interestingly enough after I installed Asus WRT Merlin which is a third party firmware only for certain Asus wireless routers including mine that actually fixed the problem. The ASUS WRT Merlin firmware is actually based on ASUS WRT itself with some tweaks, improvements and new features. It is actually very user friendly and easy to use. Basically the interface is very similar to ASUS WRT but as I said it is only meant for certain ASUS wireless routers. Another good reason that because of that I might install a third party firmware is when the original firmware actually doesn't have a feature that I need to have. For example, uh, you might also remember that um, I had to install DDWRT on my Linksys E900 which is a very old wireless router so I can set it up as a repeater to extend the range of my Wi-Fi. That's something that I could not have done with its original firmware. Okay, let's say for either of those reasons, I decide that I should install a third party firmware. Which one though? First of all, I want to know which one actually supports my wireless router. It's not like every single one of them actually supports every single wireless router. So I should know that first. I already know about ASUS WRT Merlin and if my wireless router is not one of those ASUS wireless routers, then Merlin is not going to be an option for me. DDWRT firmware on the other hand supports many more wireless routers compared to Merlin. That actually includes some routers with Broadcom processors and some routers with Atheros processors. Tomato though is actually designed for routers with Broadcom processors. OpenWRT unlike Tomato has actually some issues with routers with Broadcom processors, some driver issues. I might be able to install it but some features might not work. So the best way to find out if my router is supported or not is actually to check the website for each firmware. For example, I'm gonna check that for my Linksys E900 and my Asus AC68U wireless routers. Both of them have Broadcom processors. So at this point I pretty much know which one I can install and which one I cannot. Next I will consider the user friendliness of a firmware and also the availability of a feature or features that I need in that firmware to make a final decision. At this point I know that ASUS WRT Merlin is designed for a number of ASUS wireless routers only with a special emphasis on tweaks and fixes rather than radical changes or collecting as many features as possible. And now let's quickly talk about the rest of them. Tomato is a custom firmware originally released in 2006 to provide some extra features and more control for wireless routers powered by Broadcom processors. 
It actually has a very user-friendly graphical user interface which is quite easy to configure. Ever since it was released, there have been different modifications of Tomato firmware. The one that I have used before is Tomato by Shibi, but other good ones are Advanced Tomato and Fresh Tomato. It is actually interesting to know that ASUS WRT, which is the original firmware for ASUS wireless routers, is based on Tomato firmware. Now, as far as the features, it can provide some advanced features that I usually cannot find in the factory firmware. For example, I used Tomato in one of my videos so I can use the USB port on my wireless router to share a printer. That is something that I could not have done with this factory firmware. DDWRT was originally released in 2005 and was designed for Linksys WRT54G series. Overall, it offers more advanced features than Tomato and can be installed on more wireless routers, but it is not as user-friendly as Tomato and can get a little bit complicated to configure. But since it is very popular, there are tons of tutorials that you can find on the internet that they provide very good information. OpenWRT was originally released in 2004, so it's the oldest one. It offers even more control and more advanced features than DDWRT. And it is even harder and more complicated to configure than DDWRT. So basically it requires more knowledge to work with and it is more suitable for tech savvy people who know exactly what they want to do. Okay, let's recap what we talked about. First of all, installing a third-party firmware could be risky. I might void the manufacturer's warranty, and if something goes wrong, I might also permanently damage and break my wireless router. So I will only do that if I have to. And by that, I mean if the factory firmware doesn't have a certain feature that I really need to have, or overall, if I'm experiencing some kind of firmware problem with the factory firmware, and maybe installing a new one can fix the problem. So after I know which one I can install on my wireless router, which is something I can know by just checking out their website, there's usually a section for supported wireless routers, then I can make a final decision on which one to install based on how user friendly I need the firmware to be or what features I really need to have. Because Tomato in my opinion has the most user friendly interface, but there are actually more features available in DDWRT or especially in OpenWRT. So basically my answer to the question I asked in the beginning of this video which was which firmware is the best firmware for my wireless router is the stock and factory firmware if obviously I don't have any problem with it. But if there is a problem or missing feature in the factory firmware and I'm willing to take the risk of installing a third party firmware then one of these third party firmware. But which one? That depends on which one I actually can install on my wireless router, which one has the feature or features that I need to have in my wireless router, and which one is user friendly enough. As I already said, I have done some projects using Tomato and DDWRT, and I will add the links to those videos in the video description in case you want to check them out. Hopefully I will make some videos using OpenWRT as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Please hit that like button if you did, share it if you think others might like it too, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.